What's up, hackers and pentesters the Shadow Brokers here back again with another useful video. Today we are going to talk about Ghost Framework. Ghost Framework is an Android post exploitation framework that uses an Android debug bridge to remotely access and control Android devices. Ghost Framework gives us the power and convenience of remote Android device administration. We can use this framework to control old Android devices which have turn on the debug bridge in the developer options. Now, this becomes very harmful because an attacker gets the full admin control on the vulnerable Android device. In our this detailed tutorial we will demonstrate how we can use the Ghost Framework to take control of Android devices from our Kali Linux system. So we start from cloning the Ghost Framework from GitHub by typing this command. After successfully cloned, change the directory to it. Now we need to install it using the installer script. Before that assign executes permission to the installer script by applying this command. Finally, we can run the installer script by this command. Then it will start installing the dependencies. This process will take some time depending on your internet speed. After installing Ghost Framework we can run it from anywhere in our terminal by only using the Ghost command. It will pull out the Ghost's main menu. Now we can see the options. Here we got lots of options and first, we need to connect a device. So we select option 3. Here, we can see that it's prompt to type the IP address of the vulnerable Android device. To find an IP address of an old vulnerable Android device, we use Shodan. Shodan is a great search engine for searching the devices connected to the internet. We already uploaded a tutorial on Shodan. In Shodan, we have to search Android Debug Bridge. Here we can see its returns over 19,000 search results. In these results, every device is vulnerable for Ghost and those devices are connected to the Internet. From here we can pick any IP address and paste it on Ghost and then press Enter. Now, we are connected with the IP address in 5555 port. Then we can apply anything from Ghost Framework. Ghost Framework has a simple and clean. It is easy to understand and it will be easier for us to master the Ghost Framework. Ghost Framework can be used to remove the remote Android device password if it was forgotten. It is also can be used to access the remote Android device shell without using OPE and SSH or other protocols. I hope you enjoyed this video about control any Android devices remotely using Ghost Framework. If you face any problem regarding this framework, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked our tutorials then visit our website regularly and for the quick updates follow us on Telegram. And subs you love it and thumbs you like it. Peace.